What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, Dallas Stars signing Dan Hughes to a two-year deal worth an average of $3.75 million. I think it's a very shrewd move. Um, you know, they really wanted him at the deadline, and, uh, you know, it didn't come to, to fruition. Uh, and I, I think, you know, he should have been more pushing for a move because let's be honest you know Vancouver wasn't going anywhere they could have gotten something for him at the deadline but you know either way here we are um you know I think he's gonna be a good addition you look at a team that already has a John Klingberg and um you know Johnny Oduya Stephen Johnson decent little piece I like Jordy Benham in the minority there um you know some decent pieces you know obviously they're probably gonna lose to Murray's uh it's a foregone conclusion Chris Russell will walk they've already lost Golagoski so you know, is he a replacement for those guys? No, he plays a different game entirely. But I think having a veteran presence back there on a reasonable two-year contract is a good move for the Stars, and I think it's a good fit for him as a player. And I think, uh, you know, he's really going to be re uh, rejuvenated playing on a, on a contending team in Dallas. So. And the other thing, I, I brought this up whenever someone signs with the Florida team, but there's no standing income tax in, uh, in Texas. So, you know, $3.75 million goes a little bit further in Dallas than it would have some of the other markets, so just throwing that out there, so they're, they're probably, I mean, I'm not saying that's why, but I mean, I want to follow them if you sign there to, to, to make a couple extra bucks and, and go from there, but anyway, and that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ, stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond, later guys.